Dallas Mavericks, one of the most talked about teams in the league after acquiring star player Rajon Rondo, took on one of the hottest teams in the league after winning 12 of 15 games, the Atlanta Hawks. The Mavericks rallied to make it four in a row, but were unable to grab that win tonight as they fell to the Hawks 105-102. We're better off uh, if we don't take the ball out every time and, and then push it up. And I think then uh, we can score with the best of them. But uh, if we're a step slow on, on defense and just kind of just ease into the game, uh, and then we're not good enough, then we got to take the ball out, lock it up, they go under everything. Trouble. I just think we missed shots. A lot of shots, you know, these guys usually make, including myself, you know, we just miss them tonight, you know, give their defense credit, but um, we had a lot of great looks that I would take any day, and, uh, you know, it can't trickle down on defensive end, so we still have to come down and get stopped this week, which we didn't do in the first half. We got to fix it. Um, you know, our bench did a great job getting us back in and providing energy, and, you know, we played, uh, you know, harder and, and uh, changed the game a little bit there in the fourth quarter, but we got to play with that intensity throughout all 48 minutes and can't just save it, especially when you get down to a team as good as Atlanta. You know, it's tough to come all the way back. The Mavs were unable to bounce back as their defense simply wasn't there. The Atlanta Hawks dominating the floor. For more on that, let's head over to Javrina Catalina. The Atlanta Hawks continued their winning streak. This team is definitely a force to reckon with as they came into tonight's game with a season record of 19 and seven, placing them as a contender in the Eastern Conference. The team's offensive success can be attributed to sharp shooter Kyle Korver, who's had an excellent year thus far. His shooting percentage has been 74%, making him the leader in the league amongst the guards. I thought we played a you know a great you know a great first like 42 minutes of, of the game for us. We played really well. We played with great pace. We played with energy. We uh, we shared the ball. We played. Uh, we were there for each other on defense. It was a really great performance. This last six minutes or so, I don't know what happened exactly, but um, luckily we we built a built up a big enough lead that we could sustain that. Unfortunately, the Mavericks were unable to stop the Hawks. Let's check in with Atlanta coach to see what he had to say about his team's performance tonight. Three and a half, three and three quarters of uh, you know good basketball. I think our defense and our activity was good. Offensively, I thought we were in attack mode and aggressive, and uh, got a lot of good things. Um, and you know we'll learn from the end of the game. Um, you know obviously it wasn't good, but I think the focus is you know our activity defensively, and then you know the same activity on the other end um, put us in a good position. For all your Sports Dallas news, make sure you keep it locked here on D210 TV. For Time Warner Sports Channel, I'm Javrina Catalina. Back to you, Lizette. Monte Ellis led the way for the Mavs, scoring 18 points, followed by Dirk Nowitzki, 16. Charlie Villanueva put up 14, and newcomer Rajon Rondo had 11 assists and 13 points. And Tyson Chandler grabbed 19 rebounds to finish the night. The Dallas Mavericks will conclude their back-to-back -back games as they head to Phoenix to take on the Suns tomorrow night and will be right back here Friday night to host the LA Lakers. I'm Lisette Alvarez and this is D210 TV on Time Warner Cable Sports and you've just been credentialed.